Hello, it's Chaos John here with another Star Wars Legion unboxing. This time it is the Fleet Trooper Unit Expansion. Uh, and the contents are seven miniatures, one unit card, five upgrade cards, eight assortment of tokens, and one rule sheet. Okay, so let's crack this open and let's have a look. Safety first, as always. Proper knife. Let's ditch the rubbish. Turn it around. Okay. So, first off, Fleet Trooper How to Build Guide on one side, get all that in there, and on the second side I have some new rules. So on the flip side of your How to Build, there are some new rules. Uh, this section contains a brief description of the new rules introduced to the Fleet Troopers unit expansion. The full rules can be found. The full rules can be found in the rules reference document at www.fantasyflightgames.com. SW Legion. Ready X. After a unit with the Ready X keyword performs a standby action, that unit gains X. Aim tokens. Once again, haven't started playing yet, so that means nothing to me. So I'll put that to one side. And let's dig all this stuff out. So, once again, as with all Fantasy Flight tokens, they seem to really enjoy that. Another bike way round. Oh, that's better. God, blimey, they squeeze that in the bag. And one of the tokens has already fallen out. Save me a job later. Fleet Trooper Unit Card. Uh, ready one, which is that special rule that they've introduced. Put that one there, so you can see it. And then we've got upgrade cards. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Five or six? Five upgrade cards. Fleet Trooper. Fleet Trooper only. Add one Fleet Trooper Mini. Let's move that back so you can get it on the camera. MPL 57 Barrage Trooper. Barrage Trooper. Fleet Troopers only. Add one MPL 56 Barrage Trooper Miniature. This has got Blast, which ignores cover apparently, and an Impact 2. We have Scattergun Trooper. Once again, it's for the Fleet Troopers only. Add one Scattergun Trooper to your unit. Uh, impact Grenades. Impact 1. While attacking a unit that has armour charged up to 1, dice results result in criticals. Okay. And then the last one is Grappling Hook. You gain Expert Climber when clumbering do not roll defence dice or suffer wounds. So, that's again very similar to the X-Wing and how they do their stuff there. Right, let's get down to the nitty gritty bases. We all know what a base looks like. Uh -huh. 
So, once again, they are multiple parts to the miniatures. Let's see if I can't get that to scan in a bit closer. Let's move the box out of the way. Let's move these over here, or even over here. Um, the detail, again, captures Star Wars, definitely. These are great. There's a little bit of flash in there. This is guy. And his leg, because otherwise he's not going to be much good. Got a bit of a running pose going on once you get the leg attached. That's that one. Let's get that one back in the bag because I won't be building these today. And now, my luck, I'll drop it on the floor. Have a look at the next one. Next one, again. Stand in, multiple parts to it. Uh, there's the arm, and the head. There he is. A little bit of tidying up to do, not a lot. It's quite a Pose to him. Right, so I'm not sure what this one is. Let's try and build him first. Well, get him briefly put together. This one is four parts. <laughs> oh, I can't get that one to fit. I can already tell now that I'm going to paint this one before I assemble it. This is a guy, he looks like he's got some sort of special weapon. Probably the Scatter or the MPL 50, whatever the was. If it was, uh, it's an MP. MPL 57. Still looks pretty good. Um, minimal assembly time. But I can see it being a problem when painting. It's like that old 40k thing where the Space Marines used to have their arms across the chest. And almost covering up the armour plate. Right, let's have a look at this fella. Uh, this is a full part mini again. Let's get his head on. Go, fleet trooper holding the blaster, four parts, body, two arms, and a head. It's pretty cool. I'm quite happy with how um, Fancy Flight have captured the Star Wars cosmetics and the aesthetics of it all. So that's them. Uh, three more to go. Another four piece head. Um, oh, maybe not. And the other arm that also connects to his hand, which is holding the gun, two fists. There. that to one side because it looks very similar to the other guy. Oh no, they're actually different. They are different. Well, 
Right, so this is three pieces, head, and if I can get it to fit. Nope. This guy looks like he's telling the rest of the unit to haul. I'm guessing this is probably the unit leader. And from what I can gather, the unit leader is very, very important. That's your point of reference when measuring to and from the unit. That's pretty cool. Actually, looks like he's in command. And the last mini out the box is another four piece. And some way of figuring out how to put the head on because I haven't got my proper glasses on. The worst thing is, I've got an idiot guide there on how to put them together and I can't be bothered to read it. Ah, right. So this, I'm guessing, is some sort of special weapon. Um, and it looks like it could be the scatter gun. We'll have a look at the picture on the scatter gun. And then have a look at the weapon. They are very similar. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the scatter gun is a shotgun of some type, or a laser shotgun. So, I'll just quickly throw him together. Like that. And like that, there's a cut out there, a hole in the hand. That's got to fit onto a little tab on the gun and then you've got to try and get the arm socket in. <laughs> and there he is, scattergun dude. Um, yeah, really nice miniatures. Painting may be a bit of a problem for me, I'm not very good at painting. So you get seven miniatures in that box, and they're all different, they're all different sculpts. And seems to be two um, special weapon upgrades as well. So I'm just going to put these all back in there before I lose them, because I will. So I'm not going to build these today, I will build them at some point and then we'll come back and do another video to show you what they're like. I might even put some paint on them. Um, and I can't really tell you much more than that because I don't, at this moment in time, play the game. But there's the unit card if you need to have a quick look. I won't hold it up there too long. Although no doubt you could probably find all that information on the internet anyway. Alright, so thanks for watching. There'll be some more Star Wars Legion unboxing, and I know the rest of the team are working on uh, stuff. Uh, not just Star Wars Legion. I know Ross is doing some 40k. Simon's going to be doing some uh, Warhammer Underworlds. Carl, possibly, will be doing some Lord of the Rings and Middle Earth stuff. So until next time, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to follow the progress of my Star Wars hobby, you can do. Go to www.houseofchaos.co.uk Until next time, thanks very much.